Hey guys, welcome back. So in this week's episode, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, you know, I've been going back and watching a few of the old episodes and you know, sometimes I give you guys the distinct impression that I know what I'm doing, uh, which is great, but ne not necessarily always the case. You know, a lot of these projects, uh, they're just kind of off the wall ideas that I, I try until they work. You know, sometimes I succeed, sometimes I don't but it's it's easy on youtube and on film to make things look better than they are in real life so i want to kind of go through some of the older projects and show some of their flaws and some of what worked and what didn't work uh, so that's basically it let's let's get into it okay first up is this thing you remember this this was episode number one and two uh, this might be the exception to the rule um, it's just worked uh, really i haven't had any problems with it it was a, it was a pain in the butt to build and it took a long time but uh, since it's been up, I haven't changed a thing. You remember the tool organization video, it came out really nice. I've done a few drawers since then, you can see. Not too bad, but there are a few drawers I still haven't done. This is probably not so much a problem with the process as my laziness, but you know, one of the other things I didn't show you in the video was kind of how many mistakes I've made. So here's one of the old uh, panels that I cut all the way through. Uh, this probably would have worked okay, but it wouldn't have turned out nearly as nice. And, you know, as a lot of you commenters have pointed out, it's probably still easier just to use an X-Acto knife. Uh, the process works really well and the final result probably can't be beat by an X-Acto knife, but it does take a while, which is why I still have a few drawers to go. Yeah, okay, there's nothing wrong with this one. Well, the skateboard is still pretty awesome. You will notice I'm wearing a helmet this time. Thank you, safety conscious viewers, for looking out for my own well-being. I appreciate that. But there were a few things that didn't make it to that final edit, so let me show you. So the first thing, these long panels are securely screwed down to the wood of the deck, uh, but these panels are actually just hot glued in place. This is not a great idea. Um, I have actually had a few of these panels pop off, and it's a little bit dangerous, so uh, next version of this, definitely gonna bolt those down. Uh, speaking of dangerous things, uh, let me show you this. All right, I got it powered up here. Uh, I got the remote turned on. Just as you'd expect, you hold down the dead man's switch and give it a little bit of power. Works great. Except if I were to lose connection with this, say I turn it off. Um, yeah, I no longer have any control and the motor stays at whatever speed you were running at before. Uh, you turn it back on, it'll reconnect and turn itself off. But you can see how that's gonna be pretty dangerous. So that's something I'm gonna fix in the code real soon. So the 3D printer, um, all the modifications we did to it have worked pretty well. Uh, the enclosure you see is still nice, nice and smooth, but uh, it has made loading the filament a bit more of a pain in the butt. The extruder's like right there, so that's kind of a pain in the butt. So you'll probably see an episode a little later on me trying to solve that problem. And the extruder itself, it's been pretty good, although it had its share of problems right at the beginning. Uh, at one point I thought I had shorted it out, it turned out just to be a connection problem in the control board, but in the process of taking the whole thing apart to see what I did wrong, uh, I shorted it out, so I had to rewind all the, uh, the coils on the nichrome wire. Um, but once I got it back together, it's been working good since then. Although, uh, one common problem with some of my designs is serviceability. If I wanted to change that uh, tip on the hot end, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So. That's something I gotta really consider a little bit more in my designs in the future. All right, you remember this one? This was our latest project and probably my best known failure on the channel. Uh, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch the first camera slider video. We, I think we had some pretty good ideas on that one, but uh, they definitely didn't work. It ended in, in a colossal failure. So uh, it's just kind of a lesson in persistence, I guess. You know, uh, Sometimes you have really good ideas in your head and you go for them and uh, it doesn't work quite the way you expect it to in reality. Um, but that's not an excuse to just give up. Uh, I could have just stopped there and said, you know what, I don't need a camera slider, but uh, I kept going at it and we came up with something pretty good. But even this one still has its kinks uh, and I'm probably gonna have to revisit this one as well. Uh, the drive wheel uh, is 3D printed and I found that if I let it sit in one position for a while, it kind of leaves a dent in that drive wheel and it lets it, I don't know if you can hear that, it kind of sticks in certain positions. Now, when the motor's running, it's not very noticeable. Uh, it does tilt the camera back and forth just a little bit, which I've had to uh, fix in post. So the shots that you saw in the last one, I think two out of the three there were uh, stabilized. So uh, it's minor and it was pretty easy to fix in post, but uh, definitely something to fix 
a little later on the road. All right, well, I hope that has been helpful for you guys. Um, I go through all these same struggles you do working on projects. It's just easier to edit out on YouTube. So there you have it. Uh, if you have any more questions about some of the projects we've worked on them in the past, uh, just let me know in the comments. I'll definitely try and cover it. And for those of you who have been asking about the laser cutter, don't worry, that episode is definitely coming. I appreciate all the questions about it. Uh, so stay tuned for that. See you guys in the next one. Oh, I almost forgot. The uh, micro photography rig hasn't been sitting collecting dust. Ryan's been taking some amazing photos. So check out his Instagram. It's Wiley Coyote. Uh, here's a few examples. So go, go check it out. Go. I, I said go check. What are you still doing here? Go check it out. <laughs>